So you're starting off with love spell, Virgo. You've been bewitched. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Virgo's like, oh no. You're going to be connected. There's somebody, I don't know. I don't know, Virgo. But I just feel like, <laughs> oh geez. Keep it together, Virgo. Keep it together. Okay, let me just relax. Breathe. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. Love spell is kind of like you are star-crossed, um, star starry visions, uh, rose-colored glasses. Um, yeah, doesn't it? So it could be somebody else who finds you bewitching. Okay, there you've got the magician. Wow. Okay, are you a performer, Virgo? Um, <clears throat> You have a lot of supporters, Virgo. What's going on? You're up in front of like... Okay, I've got the death cards. So you're up in front. So this is Gemini and Scorpio here. So you, you do something maybe. I know this isn't going to be for all of you. Maybe you will start doing this. But you're up at the front. Standing at the table. Standing at the podium. You're doing something. Um, and there are... It looks like you've got maybe some with the three of cups maybe some fans supporters some people around you um i just heard that those people are like you're killing me you're killing me and the death card um virgo what is the deal here okay what is the deal it either you're going to be um you're going to be getting yourself in a position where you're going to be noticed or a lot of people are going to be paying attention to you giving you a lot of support fangirling fanboying kind of energy um let me see here <laughs> like I, they just gave me i don't know if you guys have you ever seen those you know when there's like a group like a group of some sort or like, like for, for example, the Beatles. Remember how like the uh, the fans got with the Beatles? Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Stamping their foot and screaming. That's kind of what I feel like is going on. So I don't know what you're doing. I, I'm picking up performer vibes with the magician. Yeah, so I don't know what you're doing. You could be performing in front of a large audience or a crowd, um, doing something. You're standing out there, out like in front of the public, perhaps. You could even be online, whatever you're doing, and people are just bewitched by you, Virgo. Now, of course, this could always be reversed. This could always be reversed. But let's take a look here. So, wow, this is interesting. People are going to have like a heart attack. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see where this is going. It's kind of like praying and... and dreaming about you or praying and hoping that they get to meet you or they get to talk to you now this with the three of cups feels like a circle of support like a lot of people around you okay so you do have the six of cups and you have the ten of wands hmm this doesn't feel so much like a romantic one-on-one -on -one relationship this feels like more of like a mass masses of people right um i feel like um they're just saying with the six of cups and the ten of wands it's like somebody wants to give you flowers or these people want to give you flowers or get an autograph from you or talk to you or do something to be close to you um and the ten of wands is kind of like i don't know if you have protection or like a bodyguard it might be a little bit exhausting maybe this is the life you live you might be that virgo that's already in that energy um yeah i feel like this is more along the lines of people are bewitched by you now is there anyone in particular that will be bewitched okay ace of wands and the king of swords okay so there is a king of swords masculine or feminine energy that um definitely is turned on by you okay gemini libra aquarius 
sun moon rising or venus they are completely um like into you yes definitely so that figures so it's not just one person there's a lot of people that it seems like they're just in awe i feel like the word they're giving me here is in awe be in awe of you and this two of wands hmm, some decision attached to this king of swords um now with this two of wands and they're holding the world the, the globe there this could be like uh, as if it's like a career um this king of swords could have this um creative idea to get you to go global i'm just hearing make you go global like i'll make you like be global be a global sensation what are you doing virgo you got some beyonce vibes going on what are you doing virgo what is virgo doing because you're you're like with the magician i feel like that's the energy that you have <clears throat> somebody maybe it's a manager um as far as love goes it could possibly be someone who's at a distance and one is has this idea that they want to connect with you you could live on different continents whatever it might be um making plans to connect with you but yeah virgo let's see okay you got the ten of swords so what do you do virgo what is virgo like what is happening i just feel like there's this new found like stardom of some sort um or fame it could be local it could be it, you know it could be on a higher scale and virgo it looks like and it doesn't surprise me that you'll want to try to maintain your privacy or alone time and push people back or push someone back or push them away you're very i feel like with the hermit here and that's your card and you know magician can be a virgo because it's mercury ruled it is possible virgo that you might just be like in the next four to six weeks this is happening so fast and it you just kind of push back on this i need time to think everybody get away <laughs> that kind of thing or if you have fans which you do i see like you do people are like doing some Beatles stuff around you like oh my god they can't wait to talk to you can't wait to see you they get they're going crazy and you pushing back I feel like I'm telling some kind of like it's a message like for someone who is either going to find some newfound fame or um, increase go global okay so you have um, okay now you have the king of wands and the queen of cups wow so there's a couple people who will be showing up during this time period like you like you're blowing their lid off like they this might be a married couple or a brother and sister or whatever you could have a connection to them aries leo sag pisces cancer scorpio where they are just shocked there's like this shocking energy connected to them they um they could be like in your inner circle these two people are like blown away completely by what is happening or will be happening to you going forward you know what it's funny because there's no pentacles there is there's no pentacles this might be something that you've been hoping for I can't believe that all the cards I pulled because the pentacle would represent finances, money, stability, security. Is this going to be something that brings in like a lot of money? Um, well, let's see. Oh, if you're in, if you're doing music, I'm just looking at this hand man and they hanged man and, and they're just they showed me this glow and they're showing me if you do like music about heartbreak or you write or you do something to do with like um, talking about arguments or heartbreak um, or you do a you know, like entertainment 
industry maybe you're in acting or something um this kind of feels like an emmy or an oscar you know it's upside down um or gold platinum going gold platinum it's weird how these messages come out you guys because i don't always see like actually that's the first time i've ever seen that that kind of feels like oscar kind of looks like an oscar award aren't his like hands behind his back or something i don't know i've never actually seen one just from a distance but wow virgo um yeah you're gonna be in line for receiving some kind of an award here you go page of cups you'll get news about it's gonna come in really quick very passionate um you're gonna get news there's some maybe some legal papers as well that you're gonna have to um you know no pentacles <laughs> which it's gonna come let me see yeah there's some like legal news or maybe a settlement or something or some money like a, a, a document that's related to that something legal there you go that's why the knight of pentacles because it's going to take a little while to come in so i feel like they're saying your your recognition is going to come first and then the money's going to flow after that and that was wondering if this was going to be like a love reading but it looks like it's more about um aspirations um or doing something creative you're going to get noticed for something that you're doing or will be doing um that's going to put you in a higher echelon that could even have you global it doesn't necessarily have to be entertainment um you know you could you could be a going into like a fortune opening or starting a fortune 500 company or get like elevated up to like ceo or something you know by nomination of some sort um this is beautiful i mean this is awesome this is really awesome if you're doing anything where you're putting yourself out there um this will be kind of a shock coming to you i don't feel like you're gonna expect this it's gonna come out of the blue yeah definitely um let's get some initials and see our names or whatever shows up here for some of you okay so you have november so okay they're giving you june and november so between june and november now this energy might just be beginning but between june and november there's going to be some kind of like that's when the energy i feel like is really going to start to take off beginning in the yeah the june time period of 61 so we could be born in 61 or age 61 77 born 77 or age 77 maybe you're gonna go on like um america america's got talent or do britain's got talent or like the voice or something get recognized on a show okay 69 age or year you have the letter o once again you have the letter e someone is 34 let's see all right september 2nd september 8th age 56 or born in 56 and signs that will be significant to you during this time period sagittarius scorpio and libra okay and we did have Libra there as well. Did I miss any other signs? I don't think so. Oh, Pisces. And what else? A couple more. The letter K and the letter A. I just heard Keo. Is that a name? Keo? Key? Keo. I don't know how to pronounce that or spell it. Um, or Chloe. Okay. Let me get a charm. I'm dying to see the comments under this video. So if you guys, if you're like, this is resonating, please leave me a comment. All right, let me see your charm. Okay, so looks like you have a poodle of some sort. You know, that poodle makes me feel like it's a very classy kind of pet to have. Not many people have poodles. Only certain types of people have poodle so poodle so either you're going to be that person look this poodle is like very charming and well groomed hmm 
Yeah, that's definitely attached to you during this time period. It doesn't necessarily mean you're not, you have a, maybe you have a poodle, but there is an energy here of like, I just heard, they gave me that old ZZ Top song. Every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man or every guy's crazy about a sharp dressed woman. Well, whatever it is, this is like high notoriety. This is like a high society. Um, being elevated into some kind of higher bracket. Yes, the money's going to come for sure. And it's something you'll be able to build upon security, long-term security, which is the Knight of Pentacles. But the fame or the recognition, the notoriety, and all of that is going to come first, Virgo. So keep your wits, Virgo. I don't know what you're doing, but something fantastic is coming for you. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.